Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to see two shift registers with the STM32. Switching on the LED, switching off the LED, and the binary counter. I'm going to fast forward the video for to see the binary counter numbers. Let's get started with this. This is the shift register I'm using. Let's zoom in and see the other side like this. For the wiring diagram, it's easier to do with only one shift register first. I have done it in the video available here. There I explain how the wiring works, how the shift register works. For the second module, we move this one here like this and then we use the green, yellow, red and black wire same connection here like this and then we have the same setup here it's like that it's connected and for the orange wire it goes from here to there and the second orange wire goes from here to here that's all the different if you want more than two shift registers for example four shift registers we put it here and then we do the another three like this and use the same green yellow red black wire to here 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 and then the orange wire goes from here to here and from this module to here and from this module to here and then from this module to here and then you can keep adding like this the wiring connection is here let's zoom in the stm32 side the wire black red yellow green goes from here to here and the same wire goes here to the other module but the orange wire it goes from here to this pin and then from here the orange wire comes to this module i put two separate uh, resistor for two sets in the qbd let's put the part number f103c8 this is the one for blue pill next uh, I put the S2 for the shift register 2. Click system core. Sys for the debug. Select serial wire. Uh, we can zoom in. Uh, make pin PB6 GPIO output. You can use uh, any pins. I'm using these pins PB8 also output and PB9 also GPIO output that's all the setting you can click save for simplicity I have given the code in my website the link is in the description below this is the one the diagram is here the Q by D setting is here the user code 0 we copy from here until user code ends 0 that's here. I copy it. Whatever in the user code 0. Go to Q by DE. And uh, go to user code 0. And paste it. And user code 2. We copy from here. Until user code end 2. Until here. Copy it. Paste it. paste it here that's all the code we can save if you compare the code with only one shift register it's only little bit different when you go to user code 0 same pin and uh, I use 8 u int 8 for the uh, one register now 16 for the two, two registers if you use four registers you can use 32 and uh, I put 16 numbers here and uh, this was 8 before I changed it to 16 that's all the change in user code 0 yeah that's all and user code 2 uh, when I had 8 numbers here and I changed it to 16 if you want 32 you put it 32 that's all uh, this is to switch on all the numbers all the pins and switch on and off selected pins switch off all the pins all 0 and this also exactly same pin 0 to 1 pin 1 to 1 it's exactly same as only one shift register but uh, after 
pin 7, we go to pins 8, 9 like this. That's the first module. Pin 8, 9, second module. That's the change. Uh, in this binary counter, uh, it was 0 to 256 for one register only. Now it goes from 0 to 65,536. Okay, now we can upload the code. Press this button. Yeah, it's done. I have uploaded the code. Let's give the power on. All of them on, selected on, and the uh, light on by one by one on, one by one off, and the binary counter. I'm going to fast forward the video to see other set of LED binary counter. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.